Welcome to video three, refining and processing. The focal point of this process is refineries. These massive complexes are like high-tech factories, turning raw, unrefined crude into a large spread of products we use every day. At the heart of the refinery is the distillation process. Imagine a giant tower that acts as a molecular sorting hat. Crude oil is heated, and then as it rises through the tower, its various components condense at different levels. This is where we separate the heavy stuff from the light stuff, like liquid alchemy. After distillation, the next important process is cracking. No, not the knuckles kind. It's the process where we break down large hydrocarbon molecules into smaller, more useful ones. This is where we get the building blocks for gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and a whole array of petrochemical products. Distillation, cracking, and multiple other processes work in harmony to make up the refinery. All of these are carefully watched and managed in the control center. Technicians armed with data and real-time analytics ensure every process is finely tuned. It's not just about making products, it's about doing it efficiently and safely. What makes the refining process work is a choreographed network of pipes and pumps moving these products from one stage to another. We're talking about refining the crude into gasoline that fuels your car, jet fuel that propels planes, and raw materials for countless products in our everyday lives. But wait, there's more. Natural gas processing is also a crucial part of the equation. From natural gas, we extract valuable products like methane and propane, which find their way to your homes for heating and cooking. As we wrap up this journey through refining and processing, join us in the next video where we explore the world of transportation and distribution, from pipelines that crisscross the continent to logistics that ensure timely deliveries it's a journey you won't want to miss.